Hello, everyone. It's me, Sarah Priebus, and we are doing trivia from space. Not really, not today. But the cool thing about trivia is we really could do it from anywhere. All we need is Chad the wheel, you, me, and some questions. What else does this outfit remind you of? Am I a salmon? Did you order your salmon cooked? Or perhaps, uh, I don't know, throw your best answers in the chat. Let's roast me later. In the meantime, let's get to the quizzing. We got a wheel here with a bunch of prize options on it. $1,000, $2,500, and $5,000. Whatever we land on, that's your money, honey. Let's do it. Let's spin the wheel. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Ooh, I'm looking a little greasy, aren't I? Just the dress, though. $1,000, baby! We're playing for $1,000, and here's how it's gonna work. Basically, we're gonna take a short break, couple seconds, come back. I hope you're ready. Hold those ferns vertically. Make sure you're connected to that good Wi-Fi. And then you gotta answer 10 questions. You'll have about 10 seconds to tap your answer. You get them all right, and you win a piece of the prize pot. Okay, we'll be right back after this. Welcome to Display Tips. Let's get introduced to Profile. Tap the profile on bottom right of screen. Here, you can personalize your display experience. Tap the pencil icon to edit your profile picture, cover photo, basic user info including contact, and link to your other social media accounts. Select your preferred language, identify top friends and family members. You can also create and manage your communities here. Watch for more tips on Display TV. Folks, you probably already know this, but Mercury is in retrograde again. This is both bad news and good news. Now, the good news is it's the last time in 2021. Also, you literally have an excuse for everything. Seriously, blame it all on the planets. Hence, my spacesuit. Well, almost everything. Don't go messaging customer care later that Mercury is responsible for you not tapping the answer to Q10 in time. The bad news is, well, yeah, Mercury might be responsible for you not getting Q10 in time. Hey, I don't make the rules, I'm living it with you. If trivia goes down tonight, Mercury. You misread the question, Mercury. Drop your phone in the toilet, you guessed it, Mercury. So who is Mercury and why must he torture us so? Well, I don't know, since this is a trivia show, I'll tell you. Mercury is named after the Roman god Mercurius, messenger of the gods and mediator between gods and mortals. Hence, why all forms of communication go sideways. Tech, interpersonal, interpersonal. So yeah, good luck from now until um, October 18th. But you know what'll make it better? $1,000. Here's how to get it. Answer 10 questions correctly. Just remember, once you tap, there is no going back. And if you miss one, you will no longer be eligible for the cash prize, but you can keep playing along for fun. All right, let's show Mercury who's boss. Here we go, question one. Captain Crunch is a mascot for what type of branded food? Breakfast cereal, fish and chips, strawberry daiquiris. Captain Crunch is a mascot for what type of branded food? Breakfast cereal, fish and chips, strawberry daiquiris. Not that anyone was asking, but Captain Crunch would also be a great name for a fitness instructor with a killer ad program. <laughs> Yo, you got ripped. Thanks, thanks. It's my new drill sergeant. Well, actually, he's not a sergeant, he's a captain. But you know, you get the idea. Eating lots of this food will probably not yield a ton of gains at the gym, so maybe stick to lean proteins. You're probably more likely to get a six pack without all the sugary cereal, which is what Captain Crunch is known for pushing. Not sure if they sell cereal in a six pack, but that's probably the closest you're gonna get to one with the cap-in. Maybe Costco has? I have Q2. Hit Me Baby One More Time is a song title from what genre of music? Classical, pop, Irish folk. Hit Me Baby One More Time is a song title from what genre of music? Classical, pop, Irish folk. Oh, baby, baby, how was I supposed to know? You might be asking yourself right now. Um, I think you know. 
Just listening to the lyrics of that song is a pretty good indication of what category it might fall into. Although I'm sure there's plenty of this type of music about Bonnie Lasses and Emerald Meadows of Yore and stuff, right? Oh, no, wait, I'm getting, um, yeah, I'm confusing Irish folk and pop music again, aren't I? Classic, see what I did there? Sarah Priebus mix up. Well, I must confess, your trivia prowess is killing me and I. It's Britney, sis, which means it's pop. Question three. Which of the following months does not have more than 30 days? August, September, October. Which of the following months does not have more than 30 days? August, September, October. Look, I'm only asking because I'm sure I'm not the only one with the question. How did we decide which months to give more days to? Like, was there a lottery, an essay contest maybe? Why I should have the most days? Wow, I mean, July did overcome a lot of obstacles. Give her 31. Between you and me, February really could have used another round of edits. You know what? Every four years, give her an extra. 30 days, half September, April, June, and November. It's a memory shortcut for this information, but I'll say it, I'll say it. I think February wrote that. It's not that good. Let's get July on a new draft. And the rest of you, let's move you on to uh, Q4. All of the following rank among the top three largest art museums in the world by square footage, except the Vatican, Louvre, State Hermitage. All rank among the top three largest art museums in the world by square footage, except the Vatican, Louvre, State Hermitage. Now, normally when it comes to art museums, I say quality over quantity, you know? Sure, one of these isn't in the top three, but how do we know they're not just padding the exhibits with macaroni art? There are a few ways to determine if something's art, okay? One, could a child make this? And two, if a child made this, would I put it on my refrigerator? The Chinese food menu is always with an eyeline on the fridge, but I'm not sure it's on par with a Matisse. I think it's safe to say most of the collections sit in pretty high regard. The Vatican is an entire city and a country, but along with the Louvre in Paris and the state hermitage in Russia, the third largest museum in the world, it's the National Museum of China. Question five. In recent years, the founder of Living Magazine has developed a highly publicized friendship with which rap artist? Nelly, Vanilla Ice, Snoop Dogg, Hmm, has developed a highly publicized friendship with which rap artist? Nelly, Vanilla Ice, Snoop Dogg. Name a more iconic duo. I'll wait. Mm, still waiting. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Waiting forever because you can't. Yeah, Batman and Robin, nope. Chippendale, as if. Beyonce and Jay-Z, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, okay. Mm-hmm, yeah, that's the duo right there. Okay, but this duo is definitely a close second. And you know, they have to just have the best time together because this businesswoman is known for being high class and this rapper is known for, well, well, being high. Yeah, it's a match made in one of her beautiful Hamptons homes. And lifestyle mogul and expert Martha Stewart has even released a cookbook with her pal and friend of display, Snoop Dogg. They're making edibles, but they're not arranging them, if you know what I mean. We're halfway through now. Question six. In the acronym that stands for the name of the first organization to send humans to the moon, the letter A represents all of the following words except Association, Aeronautics, Administration. The letter A in that acronym represents all of the following words except Association, Aeronautics, Administration. Folks, give it up for A, yes! One of the most versatile letters in the whole dang alphabet. I mean, she's gotta be good. You know, she comes first in the word alphabet, for crying out loud. <sighs> One minute, she's giving us short and sweet, ah. The next, we're being taken for a ride with her, long and powerful, A, and then, of course, you can always get an air of mystery with, uh, oh, 
man, give her the Oscar already. Uh, speaking of performances, we loved Neil Armstrong in the moon landing, but we gotta give it up to the folks who put him there. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration, AKA NASA. Friends, you are blasting off into Q7. The historical figure Leif Erikson is most closely associated with what group of people? Celts, Visigoths, Vikings. The historical figure Leif Erikson is most closely associated with what group of people? Celts, Visigoths, Vikings. For someone who was apparently pretty powerful and associated with one of these groups, all known for being pretty ferocious, he's just named after the most delicate part of a tree. I mean, I know what you're thinking. Hey, he's tough. <laughs> Leave him alone. While there is absolutely no bullying here on display trivia, that's right, we have a zero tolerance policy for bullying here on display. I am sure that his bark was just as bad as his bite, okay? It is theorized that Leif Erikson was actually the first European to set foot on North American soil, but how did he do it? With the help of his seafaring Viking brethren, that's how. And how will you all fare in this quiz? Well, let's find out in question eight. Which of the following did Google report as the most searched definition in the year 2020? Pandemic, WAP, Juneteenth. Which of the following did Google report as the most searched definition in the year 2020? Pandemic, WAP, Juneteenth. Whew. All of these are in the top five most Google definitions in 2020. I'm surprised Google even kept a record of that because I'm over here trying to block most of 2020 out. La 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 Nope, I'm not listening, I'm not listening. 2020 really was that annoying younger sibling that was like, I'm not touching you. Yeah, maybe not physically, no, but emotionally, mentally, spiritually, you are under my skin, 2020, okay? And I should know, I had two annoying younger siblings. <sighs> but the word we asked Google to define most that year and the word that defined the year, <laughs> the year, was WAP from the song by Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion. If you still don't know what it means, I'm going to direct you to my good friend Google. Question nine. A person who is on sand is likely to experience all of the following as a direct result except hyperemesis gravidarum, amenorrhea, prostatic hyperplasia. Instead of repeating that one, I'm going to let y'all read it. I'll give you the answers one more time just to prove I know how to say them though. Hyperemesis gravidarum, amenorrhea, prostatic hyperplasia. Mmm, she's good. If you end up on WebMD at two in the morning like I do at least once a week, then at one point or another, you've probably had all of these. Also WebMD, not just the place for spiders to get medical advice. The name is just a tad misleading. Although TBH, I do think of my, I do. Like I think my silk glands are a little swollen. Oh, my calicera. Oh. The point is, don't diagnose yourself on the internet. No, call your hypochondriac aunt and have her do it. You might get some soup out of it too, who knows. On sant, almost as fun as it sounds, is another word for pregnancy. And a person who is pregnant is likely to experience morning sickness and loss of period. Prostate enlargement? Yeah. Prostate. Man, she almost made it through. <laughs> Prostate enlargement? Not so much. And on that very exciting note, let's return to the final question of the night. Here it is. Question 10. At 8.42, the longest song to ever hit number one on the Billboard Top, on the Billboard Hot 100 at the time of its release is said to reference the deaths of all of the following artists except Richie Valens, Sam Cooke, The Big Bopper. This song references the deaths of all of the following artists except Richie Valens, Sam Cooke, The Big Bopper. Whew. Look, unless we're asking about the world's biggest museum like we did earlier, size does not matter. Mm -mm. Unless, of course, someone picks this song at karaoke night. 
especially if someone picks this song at karaoke night. And the full version? Anyone who does that? That person is not well and should seek treatment immediately. That person is out to harm themselves and others. Because although this Don McLean hit is a banger, it's almost 10 minutes long, son, okay? And depending on how you interpret it, apparently it's one giant allegory about mid-century popular music recounting the tragic and untimely death of Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, and the Big Bopper in a plane crash. But none of you crashing tonight! Take that, Mercury! Ha-ha! <laughs> Bam! We made it! Look at all of our winners! I am so stinking proud of you! Yes! Yes, you! You answered questions about serial music, art, history, science, mmm, Renaissance display bees. We love to see it. Go flaunt your wins and post them on the socials. Tell your friends we do this every weeknight and make 25 cents when anyone sets up a profile using your invite link. How is that for easy money? You don't even have to answer questions. Just send them here. Y'all, I'll see you back here tomorrow, same time and place. Good night.